audio files, does your DAC have timing issues? So here's a funny thing. In my last couple of videos, I've been comparing the cheap Duke K5 DAC against the reassuringly costly i5 Valkyrie. Do they sound different? Well, according to my commenters, yes, they do. Does one sound better than the other? I'm not sure. But I think many listeners would like the sound of the £1,600 they'd still have in their bank account if they chose the cheaper option. Anyway, what I noticed during my tests is that these DACs have timing issues. And I suspect they're not the only DACs to be interesting in this regard. Specifically, I was comparing an original file in my Digital Audio Workstation software with the same file put through the Duke and then put through the Valkyrie. The object being to see whether there were any audible differences. Well, my ears are probably not sufficiently gilded to come to a reliable conclusion. But what I could see with absolute clarity on my screen, the files were different lengths. Or should I say duration, to be more correct. Clock drift is the relevant topic for your nightmares. Should I have expected this? Well, yes, I probably should. But I think I would have imagined variations that were too small to notice. But the differences were distinct. So I fancied having a go at another test, this time specifically to show up the timing differences and also measure them. My method, I constructed an audio file that consists of 10 minutes of silence but starting with a one millisecond click, a single cycle of a one kilohertz square wave. The 10 minutes of silence are followed by another similar click. This way I can easily identify the start and end of the files. The duration should be 10 minutes, 600 seconds from the beginning to the very start of the final click. I made the file at 192 kilohertz sampling rate to get the best timing precision I could. As in my earlier tests, I put the file through the Duke, then through the Valkyrie. I'm playing the file from the USB-C connection of my Mac Mini, and in both cases, the DAC correctly identified the sample rate as 192 kilohertz. Let's skip directly to the evidence. Here's the start of the audio. You can see the original at the top, then the Duke, then the Valkyrie. As you can see, they line up perfectly. Or should I say, I've lined them up visually as closely as I can. Now, let's look at the end, 10 minutes down the line. I've had to shrink it down to fit all three end clicks in. I think we can take the original to be accurate. Surely Pro Tools can count the correct number of samples in 10 minutes of audio. Well. I'll take it that it can. For the two DACs, well, clearly the Duke is way out, and the seriously more expensive Valkyrie is closer. I think this is what we would expect price for price. Let's put some numbers on this. The Duke is 5,480 samples too long, which corresponds to 28 milliseconds. The Valkyrie more accurate at 849 samples too short, or just four milliseconds. Percentages, well, tiny. But in parts per million terms, the Duke is about 48, the Valkyrie 7.4. So what do I think? No, what do you think? Should we worry about these discrepancies? Should we expect a more expensive DAC to be better? How bad would be too bad? Should we all rush out and buy a master clock? <laughs> Don't worry, I've put an affiliate link in the description. Only 1895 USD. See you soon.